Hey what's up guys in this video we are going to talk about Android Pi 4 OnePlus 5 and 5T how to install public release GSI from Oxygen OS and things you should do to make the ROM work like a daily driver this is the same thing for OnePlus 5 users too you too guys can follow the same process to get Android Pi running in your phone so first talk about the installation process if you are currently running an Oxygen OS version or any other custom ROM, just remove the security pattern that you have set it on your phone. Just let it be simple, swipe up to unlock. I am going to skip the unlocking and installing recovery process but make sure you have flashed the latest recovery which has triple support that I have linked in video description. Before we boot into the recovery, make sure you have downloaded all the files. The first step is for installation and second is for fixes. The files included Moki ROM, No Variety Zip, PRI, A System Image, 3 Post GSI files, in call to Zip to fix call issues and Magix for routing. Additionally, we are going to use Dark Matter Kernel for increasing ROM performance, Stock Oxygen OS Camera APK, Google Camera APK with Google Camera Fix, Google Play Services APK to fix lag, VOLT fix and this VOLT fix is for Redmi Note 4 Snapdragon variant but this works perfectly and you will get VOLT on OnePlus 5 and 5T. Make sure you have downloaded all the files and save it on a secure location. Now I am going to boot to recovery. Now in TWRP recovery go to wipe then advanced wipe and select all the partitions except internal storage and USB storage and swipe to wipe. So in the first step you need to wipe all the partitions except internal storage but for some reasons if the ROM doesn't boot back up all of your data of the phone and go to wipe then select format data and type yes. It will delete all of your pictures and apps data in your phone. Next we are going to get a separate vendor partition and trivial support for OnePlus 5 and 5T. Because with official trivial Android Pi will not boot so this step is mandatory. Go to install tab and select Moki ROM along with no variety zip and swipe to confirm flash. This will take a minute to flash the ROM. Once it is done go to reboot tab and here select reboot to recovery. Once you have rebooted back to the recovery go to wipe and factory reset. Next let's confirm if we get a separate vendor partition. To do this just go to mount tab and here you can see a vendor tab. Select that and also select the system because next we are going to flash a android pi as a system image. Install tab. Click on install image and select the PRI a system image and flash it as a system image. You can get this image file by extracting the PRI image zip file. After the flashing process has done, go to home screen and now we are going to flash post GSI zip files. For this, go to install tab, select post GSI 1, add more zip, select post GSI 2, add more zip and post GSI 3 and swipe to confirm flash. Once it is over, go to home screen and reboot to recovery again. Now it is time for flashing custom kernel and additional fixes. For this I am going to pick dark matter custom kernel. For kernel flash, go to install tab and pick the dark matter kernel zip and swipe to confirm flash. Next we are going to flash VOLT fix for Redmi Note 4. Install tab and select the Mido VOLT fix and swipe to confirm flash. Now let's flash the Incol to zip to fix call issues. Before doing this, go to mount tab and make sure system and vendor partitions are selected. Now go to install tab and select Incol to zip and flash it. And if you want to root your phone, just flash the magic zip file just like any other zip file. So let's reboot the phone and finalize the installation process. For the first time, phone reboots twice after it reaches a OnePlus logo. Leave it like that and second time it will pass the logo and Google boot animation starts. So we have rebooted the device and there will be a screen to preferred SIM card option. 
Usually this option don't appear but the VOLT fix which we flashed will reset the preferred SIM card option. If the VOLT is not working for you go to settings, network and internet tab, mobile internet and here you will see a advanced enhanced 4G VOLT mode. Select that and VOLT will work and as you can see HD icon and it says device is HD capable. Next to fix system lag install the Google Play services APK manually. To fix resistance notification long press in each of them I button and force stop them. To fix pixel setup notification force stop it once and connect to Wi-Fi. After a while when the pixel setup appears you will be able to finish the pixel setup. And after a mess I am able to add my Google account. Apps download work and I did not face any issues. If you are still getting Google Play Store notification, long press on it, I button, notifications tab, disable the Google Play services availability. Now let's check if we have option to enroll fingerprint. For this go to device settings then security and location and here we have a pixel imprint and it works fine and unlocks within a second. MTP mode should work out of the box and if for some reasons it is not working, go to settings, system, advanced then developer options which you can enable by tapping the build number several times and here scroll to default USB configurations and select the file transfer and that's it, you will be able to transfer files from PC to your phone. The ROM doesn't come with any camera included so you have two options. You can install OnePlus camera or Google camera. OnePlus camera app works out of the box. The app is very stable and you can take pictures with HDR mode, video mode work along with pro mode. About the Google camera, you can find the working Gcam port in video description. You can take pictures and shoot videos at 60 frames per second. But when we open slow motion and Gcam settings, the camera app crashes. When you open the other modes like Panorama or Photosphere or Portrait mode, you will get an error like there is no back camera on your phone. To fix this, download this Gcam fix from description and flash it via TWRP recovery just like any other zip and reboot your phone. Now let's check the Gcam settings and as you can see all the modes are working. Alert slider won't work out of the box. To get it work, you need to download an app called notification slider which you can find on Google Play Store, install it and grant the notifications and all other permissions. To configure it, go to slider menu and here you can customize the slider at your preference. By default, you are getting on-screen navigation bar. To enable the pixel gestures, go to device settings, system and gestures and here you can enable the pixel gestures. Double tap to wake screen is not working by default and you need to enable it manually. Make sure you have root permissions then download this kernel auditor app and open it and grant root permissions. Open side menu, scroll down under kernel select wake. By default double tap to wake is disabled, enable it and also enable apply on boot. And now as you can see double tap to wake is working. If you are wondering where is digital well-being, you can enable this by installing the app. To enable this, install it via Play Store or install it manually. If you go to settings, here you can find digital well-being and open it and here you can find the dashboard of all of your app. You can use this new window mode in digital well-being. About, about the charging, dash charging is supported. As you can see, it's charging it at higher frequencies. Also the notification LED works when you plug the charger. Next under system about phone as you can see the phone is still Android 9 and security patch date is August 1. Talking about the performance with custom kernel, the ROM is smooth and snappier. I am using this as my daily driver. Regarding the benchmarks, the Geekbench score for single CPU core is 1100 and the multi core score is 6887. And the Antutu version 7 score is 1,82,369. So that's pretty much for this video. Hit the like button if you find this video helpful. Till then, I'm signing off. Bye-bye.